Hello, in the next couple of minutes I would like to talk about timer configuration. Uh, we received a number of email and messages from users telling us that the timer might not be as user friendly and uh, easy to configure as they thought or as we stated in our prior videos and uh, manual. So I would like to go over those steps and uh, show you some tips and tricks and hopefully make it easier for everyone. So what I have on the bench here, I have the timer connected to, to the uh, power supply uh, to the 9 volt battery to the load as a LED light and that's pretty much it uh, This is based on a diagram found in the manual. So very basic Configuration wires uh, green and white is not connected uh, to the buttons as in our hour or is in uh, in other videos and just to show you how you can how you can configure the timer with just the bare wires that you don't need anything extra I connected extra wire to the uh, ground to make it easier and I would suggest you do the same. Okay, so uh, configuration is done in four separate steps. The first step is very important. Uh, you go into the time setup mode and this step is, uh, if you miss that step, uh, nothing else is gonna matter, it's not gonna work. So that's the uh, number one mistake that uh, people do. You need to make sure that you go into the time setup mode and I'll show you how. The next step is we would uh, configure the time delay T1 or possibly T2, in most cases just T1. And then we would go to the timer function setup and configure the function and a trigger. And trigger in most cases is uh, optional. So to go into the time setup mode, we're going to disconnect the power from the timer. We're going to take our configuration wires, green and white, and connect those uh, two wires together to the, uh, to the ground. So I'm going to connect it and hold it like this. And then I'm going to supply the power. And light and light are going, going to come on for about 3 seconds. So the output from the timer is going to be supplied for 3 seconds, and that shows you that it went to the time setup mode. If you miss that step, if the light didn't... Uh, come on you maybe your timer could be connected to a solenoid fan motor some other light if that power is not sep uh, supplied for three seconds you need to redo that step that's a very important step if you missed it uh, all other steps are useless so I'm going to disconnect the power I'm going to take the green and uh, white wires connect it to the ground hold it and then I'm going to supply the power and light comes on for about three seconds so we're good, we're in uh, time setup mode. So here where you would set up your delay time, uh, five seconds, a second, uh, uh, 10 minutes. Uh, and the way you do it, you take the white wire for the T1 and uh, connect to the, uh, to the ground wire for the time that you need, for say five seconds and disconnect. If you need for one second, connect to one second. If you need it for 10 minutes, connect it for 10 minutes. Uh, if, it probably would be easier if you connect the switch or the button to it if you if you're gonna hold it for a long time for a long period of time the mistake that people do is they would hold it for 10 seconds disconnect it and accidentally touch the uh, black wire one more time well you just reset your time to one second or half a second so you need to be careful you need to hold the, the black wire and once you're done counting your delay disconnect it so this is your time and you can do it a number of times you don't need to re-power the timer and go to this mode you can do it here so if I need it for two seconds I'm just gonna hold it one two and disconnect so it's set to two seconds the green wire is used for the T2 so we finished uh, with the step number two now we're gonna go into the function setup uh, step number three the, the way I'm gonna do it I'm gonna take the green and white wire and connect it uh, together to to the to the ground and light gonna come on for three seconds the mistake that uh, people do is they touch the white wire first wait for a period of time and then they touch the green wire and it has to be done in about one second you have to touch those two wires uh, uh, at the same time not exactly but uh, there's a leeway a little bit uh, but you can't wait for five seconds and touch the other wire. It has to be two wires uh, and uh, you will go to the next mode and uh, you will see that the power comes on. If you uh, uh, screwed up that step, not a big deal. Disconnect the power and start over. 
again I disconnected the uh, time uh, the timer so I'm gonna start with the I'm gonna connect the power uh, connect the uh, green and white wire to the ground and sup supply power and disconnect the green and white wires I'm gonna hold the white wire for two seconds and disconnect and then I'm gonna take two white wire the green and white wire and connect it to the ground and disconnect and light stays on tells me that it's in the step number three and this is the function and to configure the function you take the white wire and touch the black wire uh, I, uh, I need two times so one and two if you touch it three times uh, well you can't go back so you need to redo those steps but if I'll touch it two times and disconnect the power my configuration is uh, done so if I connect the power it will stay on for two seconds and turn off uh, the next time if I need to change this uh, at time t1 and I don't need to change the function I don't need to perform steps uh, three and four they will be optional I just need to perform step one and two so if I need to change the time for five to five seconds I'll just take the green and white wire connect it to the to the ground to go into the setup mode and supply the power and here now I can take the white wire and connect it to the black for five seconds Oh, missed it so connect it a couple times but I'm gonna connect it for five seconds one two three four five disconnect it and that's pretty much it I can disconnect the power and it saved it uh, the function didn't change so I don't need to change the function I'm gonna connect the power will stay for five seconds and turn off and that's pretty much it uh, if you have any comments please leave us comments uh, on YouTube or email us and we would like to provide as much help uh, as you need. Thank you so much. I just want to add uh, one more thing. So if once you configure your time uh, T1 and uh, you configure your uh, function and if you need to change the function or you miss the function, let's say you misconfigure the function, you need to change it back. You don't need to change the time. As, as long as you configure the time properly the first time, you don't need to do it all over again. So you can s almost uh, skip the step number two, but you'll just still need to perform step one, three, uh, and four. So the way we, I'm just going to show you that, that I already set the time for five seconds. So it uh, stays on for five seconds, and it's uh, function number two. And it turns off. So let's say I uh, need to change the function to function number one where it waits for five seconds before it turns the light on and I don't want to change the time T1. Maybe it's one hour, at, uh, maybe the T1 set to one hour, I don't want to wait for another hour. So the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to uh, do the step number one. So hold two, uh, two, uh, two wires uh, to the ground, connect the power, it goes to the time setup mode. But I don't need to set up my time, it's already set, it's already in uh, memory. So I'm going to take two wires and connect it to the, uh, to the ground and disconnect. And I, now I'm in uh, step number three. I'm setting up the function mode. I'm sorry, I just performed the step number three. Now I'm in step number four, setting a function. So I'm going to set function to step uh, to a function one and disconnect. So in this case, if I connect the power, it's going to be off for five seconds and then turn on. And that shows you that my time still uh, set there and did not erased, wasn't reset. Uh, all right, thank you so much.